don't know if I'm gonna actually release this or not, but I want to do a mini review where I'm just gonna talk about stuff and then hopefully make it to a shore. Today, a one shot, minor spoilers, um, mostly just areas and puzzles. Um, one, the characters. The idea of having a main character not be you is really cool. To me, I find it so lazy. You play a game and you make your own character because that adds no personality to the main character and it makes them boring. The fact that in the in one shot, right, I'm playing as me and he's playing as him and I'm just helping him. That's cool. That's awesome. Second thing, every time I meet a new character and I talk to them, oh my gosh. Bro, what they're doing is not only are they building Nico and showing his personality, they're also building the world personality, which um, I'm not going to spoil it too much, but that comes in a, a huge, huge play later on. Puzzles, most of the time, they're a lot of fun. I am playing it through my second time, and they're a lot easier because I, I kind of know what I need to do, but first time playing one shot and not knowing what to do sucks. You really want to move forward, but you don't know what to do because it's all a dark area and traversing that dark area, the pain in the butt. Thankfully, the World Machine version added fast travel, which helps so much. The Glen favorite place, the um, Kamala and Amamala, I, I can't, I, I, I don't know the names. They are my favorite character. I love them. They're, they're awesome. Those of them, oh my gosh. And then the later on, bro. The one thing I like most about One Shot is that it's not your story, it's Nico's story. And you're playing Nico. You're like like you're you're helping him out. Helping him try to get back home. Which I think is the a genius game design. Um what else? Ooh, refuge. Definitely a really cool place. I really like the back alleys. That really add a lot more per like to me, I love like that that's way of traversing through the city. You go to the back alleys and you find secrets. To me, that's cool. The puzzles, the lens puzzle, uh, I wouldn't have gotten unless I looked up where I needed to talk who I needed to talk to, which I I did have to do that because last time I brute forced it. Same was the library card. Not my favorite puzzle. I am definitely not my favorite puzzles in Refuge, but second time around, I'm about to beat the game again, at least the first ending, if you know what I mean. But yeah, if you haven't played One Shot, do yourself a favor. Get the World Machine version and or the original version. I like the World Machine a little bit better, but for your first time playing, I would probably suggest the base one shot just because it, it plays it play a lot more with the forest wall if you use the original version first but yeah so far one of my favorite games i'm not i'm not even joking i say that a lot it is one of my favorite games it is genius i think if you're watching this creator of one shot you're so cool you're really awesome but um yeah i'm gonna now keep working on videos maybe the video will come out i don't know i don't know but um yeah it's cloudy outside, it's very nice, but yeah, bye-bye.